Hey everyone, Sonia here, back with another vape review. Today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Moti Pin Disposable Pod. Let's jump straight into it and take a closer look. Dimensions. The pin has a length of 104.5 millimeters and a diameter of only 12 millimeters. It has a 1.6 mil capacity and an internal coil resistance of 1.6 ohms. Built in 320 milliamp hour battery and it comes in two different nicotine strengths 2% and 5%. It also has a shelf life of 24 months, so great if you want to grab one of these and store them for a little while. The Moti Pin is a disposable vaping device, available in a range of different flavours and colours. With the Moti Pin, there's no need for batteries, charging or even filling your pod system. The Pin is a true puff and go pod, perfect for vapors that are looking for a fuss-free pod system. Now, I don't often review pre-filled pod systems as they are something that isn't available in Australia. So this review is for those of you that can import nicotine legally without any customs issues. So the Moti Pin is an ultra portable compact vaping device. As you can see, I've got several here. I've got five of the different flavors that you can get from Moti. I think there's about 10 flavors all up, but the five I have here, you can see they look quite like a little pen, seriously. They are much thicker than a pen. There's nothing complicated about the Moti Pin, you can see. It's a fully closed pod system. It does have an internal battery of 320 milliamp hours, which doesn't seem like a lot, but this is a low wattage vaping device. Now, I couldn't find any specs on the box that told me what the actual wattage output is, but from experience in vaping similar types of pods, I believe the wattage would be somewhere around 5 to 8 watts. Definitely not more than 10. So it isn't a really a device for outputting a lot of clouds, but let me show you the clouds you do get out of the Moti Pin. You can see when I puff on it, there is a little blue LED indicator on the bottom. Now, I'm not sure if this also indicates your battery like it switches to red when it runs out because I haven't yet run out of power or emptied one of these yet just as yet. I am vaping them with, along with my other setup, so I haven't been exclusively vaping them, but I definitely have gotten two to three days so far out of these. For a moderate vapor, the Modi pin should at least last you two to three days. I've been using all of these five different flavors along with some of my other vaping setups but they have definitely lasted me more than two or three days and I probably am a more of a light to moderate vapor. I think if you are a light vapor you might find one of these could last you up to a week possibly. Once the juice or the battery has run out you simply dispose of the pod and open up a new one. So these do have a shelf life of 24 months which is pretty good if you want to buy some of these just for emergencies or to have on hand for smokers that might want to try vaping. For a low wattage device, the pin actually has some pretty good flavor and not too bad clouds. Hmm, tasty. The pin is available in 10 different flavors and different colors. It comes in two nicotine levels. You've got a 2%, which is gonna be about a 20 milligram, and a 5%, which is a 50 milligram. I'd recommend buying one in each strength just to see how you go if you are new to vaping. You might find that 20 milligrams is more than enough for you, and it is for most people. But if you are a heavy smoker that smokes about a pack a day, then the 50 milligram is gonna be more suited to you. You can always taper down after you have fully made the transition from smoking to vaping. I also couldn't find any information out there on the coil material or structure inside the Moti pin. However, for a pod system, low wattage pod system, it actually delivers some pretty good flavor. It's definitely better than what I was expecting from a disposable pod. As I mentioned previously, the Moti pin is available in 10 different flavors. For the purpose of the review, I have tried these five flavors, the blueberry parfait, the menthol tobacco, pineapple ice, green tea, and grape ice. 
For menthol tobacco, tastes are really similar to the Alpine menthol cigarettes that I used to smoke. It has a pleasant tobacco aftertaste and a nice menthol fresh hit. Now the pineapple ice was probably the sweetest of the five flavours that I tried. It has a juicy pineapple flavour followed by a nice icy mouthfeel, just like you're eating a cold piece of pineapple. The jasmine tea is a unique flavour. It's a blend of green tea with a floral hint of jasmine. So you get that florally aftertaste on the exhale. This one isn't sweet at all. The blueberry parfait is an interesting blend. It's meant to be some sort of a blend of blueberries, yogurt and honey granola. Now I'd get a little bit of a tangy hint of that yogurt and honey granola on the exhale and a tiny little bit of that blueberry on the inhale. But this one does also have an icy cool finish so you get that cool mouthfeel. And for me the icy in it kind of overpowers the other flavours. However I did still enjoy vaping in this flavour. The final flavour I tried was the grape ice. There's a lot more ice in this one than the other four varieties that I tried. So this one you really do get a really cool mouth finish. I think if it had just a little bit more of a hint of sweetness, this one would be a lot nicer, but still not too bad. Most of the Modi Pin flavours were pretty good. However, I feel that these flavours are probably more designed for Eastern taste buds. Pros of the Modi Pin. There is a wide variety of flavours available. You have 10 different flavours to choose from. The pin has an attractive look and feel with nice bright colours and a nice soft plastic finish. Lasting for about 380 puffs, there is a decent 1.6mm capacity in the Modi pin, a little bit more than other disposable pods. The pin is a really convenient size and shape, perfect for carrying around in your pocket. And the final pro is that they do come in two different nicotine strengths, so you have your 2% about 20mg and your 5% 50mg. Cons. One small con about the Moti pin is that they aren't very economical if you want to be vaping these full time. At $8 a pop and you're probably going to be replacing them every two to three days, it's more of a product that's really marketed more towards smokers that are looking to try vaping or vapors that just want something convenient and stealthy. Another small con about the Moti pin for me was while there are a lot of flavours to choose from, a lot of those flavours do have either ice or menthol. So if you're not someone that smoked of menthol or likes an icy flavour, then you may not like these. And just a small con is that if you are going to be disposing of these, it is on you to make sure that you dispose of those batteries efficiently. Now, I don't know if these are lithium ion batteries inside, but however, any sort of battery should be disposed of correctly. Bottom line, the Modi pin is a convenient option if you're a vapor just looking for something to vape last minute, say you've gone out and you've forgotten your vape. It's a great little device to have around spare just in case. Now, these are going to be more attractive, I think, to smokers that are looking to start vaping. It is very convenient that you don't need to charge or refill these pods. They are just simply pop it out of the packet and start vaping. The pin is a really good option for smokers that want to try vaping without the expense of buying a setup. However, there are only those 10 flavours to choose from. I think the flavours would be even better if there was something in there like a custard or some sort of dessert vape that is more geared towards Western tastes. I did find the draw more restrictive on the Moti pin, however these are designed more for smokers that are making that transition. It has been more designed to resemble the experience of a cigarette. I will say that the build quality on the Moti pin is actually better than some of the non-disposable pod systems I've tried, and I really do quite like that soft rubber coated finish. All up, the pin is a really super portable discrete device. Based on the Moti pin's battery, Flavour and overall build quality, I rated an 8 out of 10. I think there are some better flavour options out there, but these are super convenient. At only $8 a pod, it is pretty convenient to have some of these floating around as spares. You never know when you might need one. And that's all for me for this review. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, go ahead, smash that like button, and please do subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. As always, vapors, keep it cloudy.